I don't know about you guys, but I have chills tonight. I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time, as has the WWE Universe. Finally, things are going to get settled. My goosebumps have goosebumps, and if yours don't, you better check your pulse. And what a lineup on this card, starting with a bang. Sit tight for singles action coming up next. Just wait for what's up next. There's no telling what's going to happen in a battle like this. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Taking on some tough competition. Let's do it. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring What's from this? California. Well, I think it's about to be a highlight at reel. 255 pounds. The Come on, male. negotiations are broken down and we now have the award on our hands. Yeah, they couldn't wait to get a hold of each other. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. tell you that thing is heavy connects with the championship oh man that one landed square too connects with the championship oh man that one landed square too connects with the title and let me tell you that thing is heavy connects with the championship oh man that one landed square too Connects with the championship. Oh man, that one landed square too. Connects with the title. And let me tell you, that thing is heavy. The WWE is the gift that keeps on giving. Next, if you didn't think about moving, you better apologize.
109 pounds, Loco and Pong Chaos. At a combined weight of 260 pounds, things the are about to heat up. World champions, Owen and the one, Karen. Oh Owen. man, there it is, and we have unofficially started here. Yeah, this referee won't put up with too much of this. They need to get in the ring so we can officially start here. Slipway, nicely done. Mm -hmm. favor here tonight. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. certainly has his number here in this Tornado Tag Team match. He's clearly outmatched outside the ring, guys. If he's smart, he finds a way to keep the action within the ropes from here on out. Uh, I think this is the beginning. Ooh! But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Point. Ooh, what impact. That has got to be it. He wants to go the outside. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. He has got to do something quick. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this Ouch. beating he's taking is pretty tough to watch. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Incoming. He's looking at it. You gotta believe this one's over. That should do it. Beautiful technique. Set it up. Slip blade. Nice. 
nicely done. isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Back now inside the ring. That'll mess up the back of your neck. Here we go. Back inside the ring. <laughs> Gotta keep your eyes peeled in matches like this. It's so tough to keep up with everything going on. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. Harsh impact. Play. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match Not like this guy. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. He's making a statement here with this attack. <laughs> here he goes. Oh, my pack. This one's over, guys. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Here's a cover. He's looking at it. What a knockout punch! Oh, man! He's going for it all. Look out! This might be it! Oh, my! Going for the big one. Rainmaker connects. What a strike! Slide play! Nicely done. When this guy's on, look out. He wants it one more time. Just when you thought he his shoulders are down. And there's the winning team. What a whirlwind. Now let's look back at that amazing action. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. teamwork by these two here tonight it's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting yeah you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite some time
The rest of the card should be every bit as good as the last match, too. And it's time for our final match of the night. The main event, the handicap match we've all been waiting for. Making his way to the ring from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 145 pounds, Kirk. Handicap action coming up as this will be a two-on-one affair. So basically what you're saying is that we're likely to witness a drubbing unlike any other here tonight. Okay, got it. And his opponent, first, from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 246 pounds, the hardcore icon, Terry Funky. Corey, when you're outnumbered like this, what can you possibly do to succeed in a handicap match? In a case like this, it's not necessarily about winning the match. Instead, I think it's more about living to fight another. If you can do that, you've succeeded. Ladies and gentlemen, our two-on-one handicap match is coming up next. Why do you sound so excited, Cole? You know it's matches like this that cause careers to end prematurely. And let me tell you, that is nothing to be excited about.
Handicap action underway here, guys. And my math tells me this one's about to get ugly real fast. Double axe handle smash. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, oh. Need the ice. That's going to hurt. Oh, look at this. Oh, knee just being torn apart now. While I was coming in today, I heard a lot of fans lauding this superstar for competing here tonight. According to them, it takes a lot of guts to compete with such an injury. Splash! He's on his heels. This is not at all where he wants to be at at this point oh, in this man. handicap match. It's going to be hard for him to win this handicap match if he doesn't somehow find a way to fend off some of this punishment he's taken. Injuries definitely are a storyline to keep an eye on during this match. So far, there does not appear to be anything really slowing this superstar down. Would you two listen to yourselves? A couple of scrapes and bruises do not constitute injuries. Come on now. Talk about overreacting to a situation. Lariat! Looking closely here, it doesn't seem to me like this superstar is favoring that injured area, which has to be a good sign. Oh, man, shot right to the midsection. He's resilient, but he may not be doing himself any long-term favors by staying in this one. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. Man. Piggybacking off Byron's earlier statement, the medical staff is categorizing the injury as minor, so it should come as no surprise that there appear to be no ill effects during this match. It doesn't matter if the injury is minor, major, or anything in between. There was no stopping this superstar from stepping in the ring here tonight, and that's a fact. Boom, what impact! is what makes him one of the best in the business. There's been plenty of chatter about this superstar's injury, but to be honest, I don't know why. It's not like we're talking about a broken leg or anything. Boom! <laughs> oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Ooh, what impact. Corey clearly has little sympathy, but the fact of the matter remains that this superstar climbed into the ring battling an injury, and it would be negligent of us to at least not bring that up. And you never know. There's a very real chance that injury gets aggravated here tonight. That's the risk you take when stepping into the ring with an injury, regardless of its severity. Lightning fast reflexes. Irish whip. technique oh and he connects there's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that come on toughen up oh my goodness this superstar to strike it in Texas jab I'm be eating soup for a week oh. game set match this one is over Oh, he's in trouble here. Setting it up. Oh, brain buster. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. He knows he's in trouble. There's a pin now. 
the cover. And this one's history. What a win. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Look at him go. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here are your winners, the hardcore icon, Terry Funky, Yosef Hero T. Jerry. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. You can bet he's happy this handicap match is over. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest. These fans are hoping the next match is as entertaining as the last. Time for our handicap match when one side might be outnumbered, but they will not be outgunned. Making his way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in. As a reminder, guys, this one will be a handicap pounds, match featuring two superstars against NBA one. Champion, oh, we don't need a reminder, Brown. Cole, though I'm willing to bet that after this one, somebody's going to need a reminder on what their name is.
and his opponent, first, from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 145 pounds, King. Big time handicap match coming up next, guys. And unfortunately, I think it's safe to say that somebody's going to get seriously hurt here, Cole. You can count on it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just moments away from this two-on-one handicap match. And for one poor soul, there is no turning back at this point. The only thing to do now is to hope that it'll be as quick and as painless as possible. is underway and my math tells me this one's about to get ugly real fast don't oh, break your crown It's an almost unwinnable battle here in this handicap Ouch. match. The important thing is that he doesn't overreact here. He's taken on a little bit of damage, but it's nothing he can't overcome. I always loved a good handicap match growing up, especially when you'd see Andre the Giant go up against two or three jabronis. Despite being outman, you always knew Andre would walk away with the win. This is strike. Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap match, as Corey was saying earlier. And he also made quite a name for himself, competing in battle royals, as you would suspect. Seeing as he's well over 500 pounds. I think my favorite Andre Giant Battle Royal moment came at WrestleMania 2 when he last eliminated both members of the Hart Foundation to walk away with the win. There was no getting him over that top rope that night, fellas. Oh no, we know what this is. Hey guys, remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed Legion of Doom in a handicap match back in 1999? What a joke that was. He told everybody he'd go up against Hawk and Animal. Instead, what we got were a couple of LOD imposters. Oh, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer. I don't know how much more of this he can take. 
He's absolutely running on fumes right now. That's over at this point. Oh, man, his family has to be concerned about him right now. I remember that Shane McMahon's Here he goes. Is he done? A lot can go wrong in a match like this. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Now, when this guy's on, look out. And if he hits this, this one's over. To Corey's point, handicap matches in a harsh impact. Game, set, match. This one is over. Penny predicament. Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. I think things are about to get turned upside down. I think you are correct. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Look at this. But he's running on a few shoulders on the mat. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Bram. That was a big pinfall victory right there. To get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. Wow. Just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match. One match is in the books, and we're on to the next. The enclosure is in place, and the superstars are ready to roll. Time for the steel cage match we all anticipated. Making his way to the ring from Munich, Germany, weighing in at 183 pounds, Thumper Tank Jack. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. And his opponent. 
opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 207 pounds. A big fight feel inside the arena right now for this steel cage match. And keep in mind that that cage is not just here to keep these two inside the ring. As we've seen countless times in the past, it can also be used as a cold and incredibly unforgiving weapon. Here we go, steel cage action kicking off here. For generations, the steel cage match has been considered one of the most ruthless matches of all time. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. This might be it! Oh my! He's starting to stumble here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. You hate to think this way, but part of me thinks he might be over his head inside that steel cage. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. You gotta believe this one's over. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as LSL. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other like WCW's Tower of Doom. We talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that time has made change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. to take out your opponent so you have enough time to climb over the cage wall and out to the floor. Beautiful technique. He's looking incredibly fatigued right now. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. The look on his face right now tells me he'd rather be anywhere else in the world than inside that cage right now.
Incredible action in this match so far. Yes! Takes it! And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner, Brute Demon Jr. Going to add that match to the highlight reel. This win is exactly why so many superstars hope their number never gets called to face this guy. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. We'll see if the next match lives up to the hype of the first. Ah, oh, yeah, it's go time. is an issue for the champ seen as the title is not on the line in this one. Not at all, Michael. In fact, given that the title is not up for grabs, I suspect the champ is more motivated to try new things here. Title match or not, Byron, the champ certainly looks ready to go here tonight. Oh, he definitely is, Michael. In fact, some of the superstars in the back were commenting earlier today about how focused he looks coming into this match.
You know, even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Running Hurricane Rana! This might be it! Oh, my! Athleticism on the Hurricane Rana. Boom, way back. What a strike. He's taking some offense. Man. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Harsh impact. Snake eyes. The cover. He's not looking like himself here. This one's far from over. That would have been a shocker. Oh, oh man! Uh oh, looking for all the glory here, and the shoulders up in time. It's gonna take more than that. Drop kick! Oh, oh, great height. Oh, nasty impact. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Avoids trouble there. No reverses it. Kick! He's looking a little off balance. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. Boy, he is rolling. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Oh, man, what a leg drop. He's on the defensive here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Yeah, but he's still in considerably better overall shape than his opponent right now. I mean, it seems to me like he still has plenty of fight left in him. He's going for the pin. He's got some fight left in him. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. There's a lot of force behind that one. Going for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. He's making a statement here with this attack. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Bringing it back into the ring. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Big slam. That's what he was looking for, Michael. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. A oh, man. Nailed it. Putting it all on the line. Cross the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He goes for the cover. He gets it with a reversal. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Here we go a second time. Oh my gosh! But he's running off. He's trying to show signs of fatigue, but this one's over. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. Overall, this match was average at best, but not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well.
I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here are your winners, Saban and Spivey. That's it for this tag team match. And what a thrilling match it was. If these guys choose to stay together, they have all the makings of being one of the best duos WWE has ever seen. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere. And now it's time for the match we've all been waiting for, our main event. Don't move, don't speak, don't even blink. to the ring at a combined weight of 1,280 pounds, the Triple Crown, Tri-County Death, and Sawyer, the Undead.
Remember, guys, the title is not on the line here tonight. I don't think that matters to the champ, Cole. Look at him. He looks more fired up than ever before. Here we go, and it sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. Tornado Tag Team Match. Beautiful technique. Back in from the floor. He's got the shoulders down. Looks like he's starting to falter. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you can count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in him. Oh, man, incredible impact! I knew it was only a matter of time. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. This could be it. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Here's his moment, Michael. Did you see the impact on that? Wow. A big punch. Ouch. He's got him covered. And he got a near fall out of it. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. That's got to be it. He's lining him up. And the slam. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, boy, he is ready. Oh, nasty impact. Inverted power slam. Wow. 
Infernic Power Slam. Wow. What damage to the body. He's going for the pin. Look at that in a second time. Driver! Just when you thought he had nothing left. His shoulders are down. The shoulders are down. That could have been it right there. And here's another look at what made that match so special. He's getting it done here. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here are your winners, Dad and Sawyer, the Undead. Big win here in tag team action tonight. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. I can't think of a better match to end this eventful evening. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time.